Proverbs chapter 7, verse number 6, and the Bible reads like this. For at the window of my house, I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones, I discerned among the youths a young man, void of understanding, passing through the streets near her corner. And he went the way to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the streets, and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him. And then with an impudent face said to him, I have peace offerings with me this day. Have I paid my vows? Therefore come I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry and carved works with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. For the goodman is not at home. He has gone a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter. There is a fool to the correction of the stocks, till a dart strike through his liver, as a bird hastes to the snare, and knoweth not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths, for she hath cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell. Going down to the chambers of death. Amen. Let's raise our hands toward heaven and ask the Holy Ghost to work in this service. Dear God, I pray right now, would you bind every distraction, every hindrance, Lord. Would you take these feeble lips of clay, God, and let me be a messenger from heaven tonight. And Lord, I pray, would you move on this wonderful congregation, Lord, that we could hear your word and receive it within our hearts. God, that we could meet you around these altars, Lord. We give you the praise and the honor and the glory. Lord, would you stand by and help us, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated in the house of the Lord tonight. We find here in our scripture the story of a young man that is deceived by the harlot. We find a young man that is heading to her house in the black and dark night. The woman was subtle of heart, which means she was classy. She was wealthy and religious. And that she was a married woman, she was crafty yet deceptive in her ways. Her goal was to deceive the young man, to blind him with her looks and make him lust after something that he would never have. Even though she grabbed and kissed him, the scripture says she decked her beds and put the perfume on and offers the man to come home with her. For the good man is not at home. The young man follows along, the scripture says, as an ox goeth to the slaughter. Or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. The young man saw the beauty of the woman. He smelled the sweet perfume. And he heard her flattering words. Yet she spoke. And now he finds himself following after this woman. This young man, the scripture said, was void of understanding. Him and I believe we have many people in this world with no understanding. Him and I believe there's people with no desire to learn about God's way or to walk in God's way. Him and they will chase after the lust of their flesh. They will have no rhyme, no reason. Him and just trying to make it through life. Amen. The old saying is just living the dream, just hanging in here. Amen. But here we find, amen, this man soon will realize. Amen. What he was chasing after, amen, will finally catch up to him. Amen. It will be to his destruction. You see, the devil will tempt you. He will lure you and entice you. Amen. To follow after his ways. He will paint such a pretty picture of how wonderful this world is and all the pleasures of sin. Amen. But never once will he show you the destruction that is waiting around the corner. Amen. Would you help me preach just a little bit? Right. Amen. I'm not going to try and hold you very long. Amen. Not knowing the disaster. Amen. That was going to take place. This young man is following along. Amen. He thought that everything was just fine. Amen. The young man heard her, her enticing words. Amen. He 
he thought he was getting the deal of a lifetime, some would say. Amen. But what he did not realize was what he was chasing after would soon be the death of him. He did not know that the dark heaven would strike through him and take his life. He did not know that the woman had already took many men. He was just another casualty along the way. And then can I tell you, we cannot afford another casualty. And can I tell you tonight, you don't have to be a casualty. Amen. Amen. But I want you to realize when you make a deal with the devil, amen, you are sure to be burnt. Amen. Don't you think for one minute that you can outsmart or out bargain the devil? Amen. He has a plan to destroy your life. Amen. If I can title this message here, amen, I'm trying to get to where I'm going. Amen, I want to title it, Run, Man, Run. Amen, you ever been to those people and you, you talk to them and, and I'm in the construction contracting world and you always say, what are you thinking about this old guy? Or what is, you dealt with this man, uh, how is he to do business with? And Brother Mitchell, I'm sure you've probably heard it before and you say, all I'm saying is stay away from that guy or, or run away from that guy. You hear a guy's name mentioned, you run the other way. Amen, well, can I tell you when the devil comes, amen, you better run, man, run. Amen, don't you listen, amen, to this woman. Amen, don't you listen to the enticing, amen, that the devil's putting in your way. Don't you listen to the temptation, amen, that he's placed in your path. Amen, for if you listen to the devil, amen, sure, you will be a casualty. Amen, we cannot afford to have another casualty. We cannot afford to lose another soul. Amen, no hell may press again. Amen. Though the deceiver comes, amen, and has a plan to try and destroy us, we need somebody, amen, that will stand up in the gap yeah. and say, I'm a running towards the throne, and I'm a running from the devil, amen, I'm coming to preach tonight, amen, somebody ought to get your running shoes back on, and you better get your running man, you better run, amen, don't listen to the snare of the enemy, amen, don't get trapped, amen, in those enticing words, amen, but get back to running, hallelujah, amen. I couldn't help but notice as I read this text some months ago and been back in study and been back in prayer. Amen. In verse number six, amen, the scripture says, at the window of my house, I looked through my casement and beheld. And then he goes on to tell this story. Amen. I feel like in 2023, amen, we have too many people that will look on we have so many people that will just stand by, amen, and watch, amen, but yet no one will come out and fight, no one will come out and warn, amen, we can look around, and we can see all the needs in our family, we can see the needs in our churches, we see all the lost loved ones, we can look around at the ones that's already failed, amen, we can see the destruction that sin has caused, amen, the lives that has followed, amen, after sin, and left them with nothing. Amen. But yet we're in the window. Amen. Looking out. Amen. I said somebody. Amen. Ought to open the window tonight. Amen. And maybe it's a preacher boy. Amen. From Raymond S. Branch. Amen. If the Holy Ghost would open the window. And I can preach to Pine Grove. Amen. Run, man, run. Amen. Maybe if this man. Amen. Would have took a minute and said, young man. Amen. Would you listen to me? I know this woman. Amen. I know her ways. Amen. You better run the other way. Amen, can I tell you, I know I'm not old. Amen, I know there's far greater preachers here. Amen, but can I tell you, I know the devil, and I know the traps, and I know the destruction that he brings. And you better get to running, man. You better get to running. Where's the prayer warriors? Amen, why is the church so silent? Amen, why are we looking on? And the de destruction is at hand. Are we doing our part as a church and then to try and save our people? And then are we doing our part to go against hell and go to war with the devil? Or are we just watching from afar? And then we cannot afford to let another soul and then come into the house of God and go back out those doors and then the same way. And then God, would you help us and then to get back to prayer, to get back to fasting, and then to get back to shouting the warning that somebody and my knees to run. It's easy to look out the window. It's easy to see the need. It's easy to see the destruction. 
It's easy to watch from the safety of every window. But when are we going to say, enough is enough? Hey, Amen. When are we going to say, hey, Amen. We've seen sin long enough. We've seen it run rampant. Hey, Amen. Through our churches, through our communities. We've seen the devil take our young people. Hey, Amen. Farther than you ever could imagine. Hey, Amen. The church needs to rise up and go to war with the enemy. Hey, Amen. God, would you give us a heart? Would you give us a heart? Hey, Amen. That wants to work and not just watch. Hey, Amen. It's easy to watch. Hey, Amen. But it's hard to go to work sometimes. Brother Mitchell, hey, but God, would you help us? Hey, but to realize the snare, hey, but of the enemy, would you help us to realize, hey, but what the devil's trying to do? Yeah. And shout the alarm, hey, but and sound the bells, and say, Son, you better get back to running. Hallelujah. Hey, but the church has a job to do. Hey, man, we can see the wickedness, we can see the evil. Hey, but the church, hey, man, has a job. Hey, but I come to try and tell you tonight. Hey, but the church is here. And I come to try and come amongst this crowd. And maybe there's one, hey, man, that's been deceived. But maybe there's one tonight. Hey, man, that has their eyes on, hey, man, the, this world. And they've been listening to the enticement of the devil. Hey, man, maybe I've come, hey, man, all the way from Virginia. Hey, man, to warn somebody. Hey, man, that that woman is taking you down a road. Hey, man, to hell. Hallelujah. Help me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'd like to direct your attention to this woman as she betrays the devil. Cunning and swift. Says all the right things. Promises all the right things. Hey, man, but doesn't tell you where they're taking you. Hallelujah. Hey, man, the devil's deceived many men and women. He is the master deceiver. He's the father of all lies. And then in our scripture we read that the strange woman had deceived many men. And they followed after her and went to their death. And then can I tell you young and old alike. And when the devil has come to try and deceive you. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I tell you, it don't matter what your name is. It don't matter what your affiliation is with the church. It don't matter your uh, uh, status in, the, in society. Amen. The devil has come to destroy you. Amen. Jesus was talking to, to Paul or to Peter there. And he said, Satan had desire, amen, to have you. Amen. Can I tell you, Satan, amen, is coming amongst their midst. Trying to destroy us. Trying to destroy your life. Amen. He'll tell you all the right things. He's the best car salesman there ever was. Amen. But can I tell you, he'll only show you the highs. He'll only show you, amen, the good times. He won't show you the lows, Brother Mitchell. Amen. He won't show you the homes that were split. He won't show you the lives that he has destroyed. He won't lie to you. And he will deceive you. Amen. And show you all the good times. Amen. But yet the reality of it was, amen, what this young man was chasing after. Amen, what he thought was a good time. Amen, what he thought was going to be a good decision. Amen, what ended up being his death. And can I tell you in 2023, amen, the devil's come. Amen, just like he did 20 years ago and 50 years ago. Amen, and 70 years ago. And he has come. Amen, as a cunning. Amen, little wolf. Amen, trying to sneak in our midst. Amen. And he's coming to deceive us and try and take your people to hell. If you're not careful, we will allow the devil to lie to us, deceive us. Oh, how crafty, how persuasive if we listen to his lies. He will get people hooked on drugs, hooked on alcohol, hooked on dope. He'll get them depressed. Amen. He'll promise them the best of everything. Amen. But in the end, amen, you're walking down a road. Amen. That will lead to your destruction. Amen. The very thing that you're following after. Amen. The very thing you're striving for. Amen. Can be the death of you. Amen. Can I tell you, if you're striving after women, if you're striving after us, if you're striving after drugs or alcohol, it will eventually catch up to you. Amen. Whatever you're chasing after. Amen. We'll soon be chasing you down the road to hell. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God, yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. Happy God. Hallelujah. Happy God. Happy God. Happy God. Happy God. Happy God.
Hallelujah. The devil will try his best, amen, to come to you in the small things. He'll come to you with the little things, the things we allow to slide, the things we allow, amen, to slip through the cracks, the things we allow on our cell phones, amen, the things we allow on our iPads, amen, the things we allow on the radio, amen, can I tell you, the devil will start small, amen, but can I tell you, it's the little foxes that spoil the vine, it's the small things, amen, it's the things that the devil can plant, amen, and before you know it, amen, where are you now, amen, you say, well, it's just a little small thing, amen, but where are you now, amen, you're going and making a deal with Satan, amen, you're making a deal with the devil, and what's it going to lead to, my friend, it's going to lead to no hope, it's going to lead to no peace. It's going to lead to no joy. Amen. No family. Amen. The devil will strip to you and leave you with nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Let me get a little personal with you here. Hallelujah. I think I've told this story here before. Amen. And if I have, just bear with me. Amen. My, my aunt and uncle, when I was real small, had a wonderful job. He was making some good money. They had two children. Amen. And, and they was living life. Amen. Just high on the hog, as they'd say. Amen. And here they are. Amen. They have everything they want, Brother Harold. Amen. But they allowed some things. Amen. To start to creep in. They allowed some drugs. Amen. You know, now it's not uncommon to see. Amen. Marijuana. Amen. It's not uncommon to see dope. It's, it's not uncommon as they eat uh, these edibles and, and all this weed and stuff. Amen. At the house, it's, it's just almost you drive down the road and you can see somebody. And they start small. Hey, my aunt and uncle, they started. Hey, man, and sin started taking them down a hard road. Hey, man, for he's a hard taskmaster. Hey, man, you listen to this preacher for a little bit. Hey, man, I, I'm trying my best to get out of the way. Hey, man, but I, I want to just try and preach to you a little bit if that's all right. Hey, man, they let the little things come in, Brother Mitchell. Hey, man, and now they was providing drugs for their, their teenagers. They was providing alcohol. They was having parties. They was having seances. I don't even know, amen, all exactly that went on. Amen, but can I tell you what it took them down to? Amen, a 20-year-old, amen, boy, their firstborn, amen, was laying in their house, amen, deader than a hammer, amen, because sin had took him down a road, amen, where it was left, amen, overdosed. You say, preacher, that ain't me. Amen, preacher, that ain't me. Amen, can you relate with this young man in this text tonight? Amen, has the devil been talking to you? Has the devil been in your ear? Has the devil been trying to pull? Amen, and pry you away from the house of God and pull you closer to the world? Oh, now, we find, had the funeral a few years later. I believe it was about seven. To say the youngest one. The youngest of the two boys. Amen. Was living in sin. Was living in depression. Didn't have anything to his name. And he, he come there. Took a case of beer and drank every one of them. And hung himself in the basement of his house. Amen. And now we find him. And now we're at another funeral. And the cycle's going on, Brother Harold. Amen. And now Mama's lost two babies. Hey man, Granny's lost two grandbabies. The family's been through some heartache. The family's been through some pain. You say, well, preacher, hey man, that'll never be my family. Preacher, that'll never be my beautiful little cheap kids. Hey man, it'll never be my children. Hey man, can I tell you, you better get to running, hey man, for whatever you've been playing with. Hey man, before it catches up and takes you down that road. Hey man, because you see mom and daddy, they lost two little babies. Hey man, but then here they go. Hey man, some years later, hey man, and they're on their way to Bluefield. Hey man, on Route 19. And here we go. And then the, they were split up at the time. And the, 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 uh, Cindy's ex-husband was driving the car. And he was drunk, Brother Mitchell. And she was with him trying to get him to hook back up on Social Security or whatever it was. And don't really know what happened, but the car goes off in the ditch and flips over. And Cindy's gone into eternity. It took her babies. It took her money. It took her life. And now what did sin do? It took her soul. Amen. And I hope she made things right with God. I really do. Amen. I, God's her judge. Amen. But can I tell you, it very well could have took her soul to hell. Amen. And I'm telling you what you're playing with. Amen. What you're running around with. Who you're associating yourself with. You're going to listen to this preacher. Amen. The Holy Ghost came to tell you tonight that you better run from it, man. You better run. Amen. Now, Granny and Papa, 
and left him with nothing. They've been left him with absolutely nothing. And now the ex-husband, as he's wrecked and killed his wife, he had part of his son overdosing. The way he raised it, the other boy and the, the kids was the reason. Hey, man, I'm not blaming it all on Mark. Hey, man, but I'm telling you, he didn't do his due diligence as a father. Hey, man, but now as he's sitting there with the guilt, and he's got a prison, a, a court hearing coming up, and here he's going to be, hey, man, in court, and they're going to sentence him to whatever it was. It, it was a 10-year sentence or whatever it was. I don't remember exactly. Hey, man, but as he's sitting there, Brother Steve, hey, man, and he's at the house, and the devil comes by, and the guilt that's there, and with the depression that's there, the shame that's there, and then Mark goes and gets, and then a pistol out of the drawer, and off into eternity goes Mark. And can I tell you, you can sit here and smile and grin, and you can say this preacher's worked up, and then for no reason, but I beg you to listen tonight, and then the devil's trying to take you down a road, and then the hell. Scripture says, her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. You might think that you can play with it. You might think you can get by with it. You might think you can fool the pastor. Amen. But sooner or later, amen, what you've been playing with, amen, what you've been toying with, amen, what you've been doing behind closed doors, amen, it's going to come to light. Amen. I said your sin will find you out. Amen. It's not going to take long. Amen. And God's going to blow his trumpet and you're going to stand before an almighty and all just God. And you're going to give an account for every action and every word that you've done. Amen. You can look at me tonight and think I'm crazy. Amen. But there's a hell. Amen. That is real. Amen. There's a devil out there trying to destroy your life. I know. Well, I wish I could preach better. Tonight I come to preach to you this simple thing. Run, man, run. If the Holy Ghost would witness to you, amen, through my feeble preaching, and we can pull this curtain back, amen, and you can see what the devil's lying to you with, and you can see, amen, what road he's trying to take you down. Run, man. Run, man. Amen, don't listen to the lies. Amen, don't listen to that devil. Amen, don't listen to him. He ain't got nothing good to say. Run, man. Amen, you better get out of here. Amen, before you stick around too long. And the devil's got you. Amen, go on down that road to hell. The world pulling on you. The sin enticing you. This might be your last homecoming. This might be your last service. Hell attacking your mind. Is the devil come against you? Run, man. Run, man. You ain't got to listen to it. You ain't got to sit there. Amen. And take that. Run, man. Amen. You ain't got to let the devil. Amen. Lie to you. And deceive you. And tell you that you'll never make it. You ain't got to listen. Amen. To his lies. Run, man. Run, man. You better go to heaven. Amen. You got a race that needs running. Amen. You got a trail. Amen. That you need to follow. Amen. You got a pastor that's trying to lead you right. Run, man. Amen. Grab the torch and run. That this young boy would have heard the warning and never followed her down the road to his death. If this young boy maybe would have heard somebody say, run, man, that woman's no good. Run, man. Heaven, that devil's trying to take you. Run, man. Heaven, maybe, just maybe, he would have heard the warning. He would have saw the signs. And maybe his life could have been spared. What are you chasing after tonight? What are you running after tonight? Are you chasing these worldly things? Are you chasing the lust of the flesh? Are you chasing after sin? Are you chasing after things that you know better than? Amen to be fallen. Amen, I've come to preach to you tonight. Amen, you better get to running, man. Amen, run, man, run. Amen, don't listen to the lies. Amen, don't listen to the, to the enticing words. Amen, the devil's trying to destroy you. Run, man. We can go over to the Old Testament. We can look at Asiel. As they called the war. Hey Amen. And we know what it was. The young men came together and started sparring. And Asiel set his sights on Abner. 
And he began to run after Abner. Hey, but Abner looked back and said, Ashiel, turn back. Follow him on the young man. But Ashiel said, no, Abner. No, I'm coming after you. Hey, but I'm telling you, what was that? What was Ashiel running after? He ran right into his death. Hey, but as Abner took that sword, hey, but put it through his rib cage. Hey, but now run, man, run. Hey, but maybe if somebody, hey, but as Abner looked back and said, Ashiel, turn aside. You don't want to catch up to me. Hey, but he was trying to warn him. He was trying to tell him. Hey, but tonight I come to tell you, hey, but the devil's enticing you. He's entangling you. And when you catch up to him, that spear, hey, but that sword, hey, but I don't know what it might be. It could be your health. Hey, but it could be your children. It could be your family. It could be only your wife. Hey, but it could be your home. I don't know what it is. Hey, but I just come to preach to somebody. Hey, but you don't have to run. Hey, but towards your death, there's another path that you can run on, and that's to an eternal life. Hallelujah. For Romans 6 and 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ their Lord. Hey, but there's grace. Greater than the guilt of your sin. There's grace greater than the shame of your past. And maybe you're sitting here tonight. Maybe you've been deceived. Maybe the devil's enticed you. The world's entangled you. And sin has its hold on you. You can be free tonight. Hallelujah. I said you can run into the arms of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe you say there's no way. I went too far. I've done too much. We can go over in Mark chapter 5 and we can find the story of Legion. Him and the chains couldn't hold him. The fetters couldn't hold him. Men couldn't tame him. This man Legion was possessed by 2,000 demons. And then hell had such a hold on his life. And then no hope seemed in sight for Legion. But then we read Mark 5 and chapter, chapter 5 and verse 6, and it reads like this. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshiped him. Heaven, can you see Jesus tonight? Can you feel the pull of the Spirit? Heaven, can you see the anointing power of the Holy Ghost drawing you? Heaven, when you see Jesus, would you run, man? Would you run to him tonight? Hallelujah. Legion ran to Jesus. Tonight, my friend, it's your night to stop listening to the lies. Stop following after the devil. Stop listening to the enticing words. He's leading you to the belly of hell. He's taking you farther than you want to go. Hey, women, if you like Legion, hey, men can see Jesus. You can run, man, run. You can run right into the arms of grace. You can run right into the arms of mercy. Hey, man, Jesus here tonight is pulling on your heart. He has met you here. They're going to pull you out of the gutters of sin. They're going to set that roadblock in hey, between you and hell's gate. And he goes for the gift of grace. But it's up to you. Are you going to run into his arms? Are you going to quit listening to the lies of the devil? Are you going to quit listening to the lies of the enemy? Amen. Are you going to give up that life of sin? Are you going to give up that life of pleasure? Amen. Are you going to give up that life of folly? And are you going to run into the arms of Jesus? Hallelujah. I'm closing with this. Sister Beth, if you come, give us a song. Hallelujah. I know. Y'all just got one more night with me and it's a couple of nights away. Hey Amen. So you might think this preacher guy from, from Virginia's crazy. Hey Amen. But I come to preach to you tonight with the Holy Ghost put on me in prayer. Yes. Amen. And I, I'm, not, I'm not saying this in arrogance or boasting at all. Hey Amen. But I was up, up when Brother Sidney asked me, the Holy Ghost woke me up in prayer and said, somebody would be on Sunday night. You need to tell them to run, man, run. Hey, man, run, run from sin. Have them turn from your ways. Have them give up that life. It's only taking you down a road of destruction. It's only taking you to the belly of hell. It's only taking you to the chamber of death. Amen. And you can sit here and shake your head. Amen. You can sit here and say this preacher's way off. Amen. But I come to preach under the authority of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That somebody amen, needs to turn around and run into the arms of Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. There's a small town. There was a bar. His name was called Hell's Gates. 
It was a popular bar. Many would travel and make the trip across the country to come and visit this bar. One man came into town to see the bar, and he was lost. He stopped a man on the street and asked him, Sir, how do I get to Hell's Gates? And the man looks back at him and turned and answered, he said, You must go past the cross, for there was a church with a big wooden steeple a block down from the bar. Can I tell you tonight, hey man, if you go to hell, you go as an intruder. If you cross that line and you go to hell, hey man, you've had a preacher, hey man, that's tried his best, hey man, to plead with you tonight, hey man, to turn from your wicked ways, hey man, and come back and run into the arms of mercy. Come back and run into the arms of grace. Satan may deceive our people. Hey man, there may be some that turn aside. There may be some that lose out on God, but they first go past the cross. Hey man, I want to do my part as a preacher tonight and tell you the devil is lying in your ear. Run away from the lies. Hey man, run from your past failures. Run in the arms of Jesus. Hey man, run to a God that is always there. Hey man, run to the cross tonight. If he can do it for Legion, he can do it for you. If he can do it for me, he can do it for you. Every one of us, hey man, needed to meet a Savior. Every one of us, hey man, needed to go down to an altar and find that blood. Hey man, I get in the blood of their life and deny if we're not careful, we'll sit here and we'll miss the importance of this service and then we'll walk out of this building and we'll think that we're a-okay and remember the devil's lying in your ear and you need to run away from him and then you need to run man run he's a deceiver and then he's a liar and then don't you get caught up and then how good it smells or how good it looks or how good you think it tastes and then for the pleasure of sin it's but for a season hallelujah hey man I Lord, I wish I was a better preacher tonight. Hey, man. Hallelujah. She begins to play. Hey, man, I hope I said something to help you. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. Has the devil been talking to you? Has the devil been lying to you? Help me, Holy Ghost. Has the devil been talking in your ear? Hey, man, saying you'll never make it. Saying you'll never stand a chance. But let me tell you something by yourself. He's right. We'll fall. We'll fail. Hey, but if we can get in the arms of grace, if we can run into those arms, if we can get a hold of his hand. Hey, man, Brother Steve, you've been through many a trials. You've been through many a test. Brother Sidney, you've been down. Hey, man, but you've held on to that hand. Hey, man, and you just kept on running. Hey, man, can I tell you tonight, say to God, hey, man, the devil's come to destroy us. Hey, man, the devil doing everything he can to destroy the church, to destroy your life. Hey, man, but if we can run into the arms of Jesus, hey, man, we can find comfort. We can find peace. Hey, man, we can find hope. In the world we live in, there's still hope because there's still a God in heaven that's looking down and reaching out. Oh, yeah. Run into the arms of grace. Oh, I, help, I hope I've helped you. Let's stand all over the house. Holy Ghost. Lord, you see my heart tonight. God, I've tried to preach what you put on my heart. God, I hope there's someone here. Lord, that you would reach down and touch their heart. Lord, that you would strengthen them tonight. God, would you help us to run into the arms of mercy. Lord, there's a race to be run. There's a crown to be achieved. There's a goal line to cross. Let us not get sidetracked by the stumbling blocks, by the temptations that the devil throws their way. But Holy Ghost, would you guide our hands? Would you guide our feet? Lord, would you take us all the way? Lord, to that promised land. Lord, I pray tonight that you would take my feeble preaching. Would you take my feeble words and my feeble effort, Lord? And would you move in it? God, and let the Holy Ghost instill something down inside of someone's heart. That they can get that strength. Lord, that they can find strength to run into your arms once again. Would you come tonight around these altars? And then I, I hope I preached, preached good to you. I hope I've helped you. Come on, let's pray. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Never wonder, Bill. Come on, let's get around these altars. Let's see the face of God.